Hey, Hope family, how are you doing? Hey, there's a lot of heaviness on my heart this week. Uh, last night, several of us gathered here at Hope and over Zoom to pray for the Christians in Afghanistan, particularly for the women and children of Afghanistan. Right now, their very lives are at stake. What we're watching unfold this week is deeply disturbing, unsettling, confusing, even maddening. When we look around the globe at other nations, we see the recent earthquake in Haiti, and those who have lost their homes, lost family members, and are in need of relief supplies. Here at home in the United States, the list is long. We're seeing the ever-increasing divisiveness. We're experiencing uncontrolled wildfires. We're battling a crisis on our southern border. We're wrestling with state-issued mandates. And I could go on. Here in our Tri-Cities, we continue to see the effects of this pandemic on our children, our businesses, on the marginalized. But here's what I know, beyond a doubt, that when everything around us is being shaken, you and I have a God who is unshakable. And in him, we will not be shaken. Psalm 62, verses 1 and 2 says, Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. I also know that our prayers change things. James 5.16 declares that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. When we're praying for a seemingly impossible situation, Jesus' words remind us what is impossible with man is possible with God. Luke 18.27 So I encourage you to pray today. Pray for the Christians and missionaries in Afghanistan, for God's miraculous protection, and for them to stand firm in the authority and power they have in Christ. Lift up the other needs around our globe, in our nation, and throughout our Tri-Cities. And as you do, I want you to do this. I want you to ask God for his perspective from heaven. And pray with boldness, knowing that your prayers absolutely are heard and make a powerful impact. This Sunday, we're going to continue to that. We're going to do that together, praying for our Tri-Cities, for our nation, and for our world. And I really look forward to experiencing that with you. Also this Sunday, a few other things I want to let you know. This Sunday, if you're a vocalist or an instrumentalist, plan to stick around after service. It's going to be a light lunch and a worship community info meeting where you can find out why the worship community at Hope has the healthy culture it does and how you can be a part of it. And then in just a week and a half, on Sunday, August 29th, two really great things are happening. One, so we're welcoming back Pastor Angel and Laura Esquivel from their summer sabbatical. Really excited to have the Esquivels back with us. And then secondly, we are having our outdoor water baptism at Howard Amon Park at 1230. So if you've made a decision to follow Jesus, but you've just never, maybe, never publicly announced that decision by being baptized in water, I want you to make this the summer that you do just that. If you have questions about water baptism, head over to htc.church slash baptism. There's a short video there that you can watch. And you can register on that page and let us know that you or your kids are ready to take that important step as a believer of Jesus. So, hey, I am praying for you. Be encouraged. Jesus is on the throne. He is in control. And when our world is being shaken, we can trust his word that we will never be shaken. I'll see you this Sunday. God bless.